Michigan, huh? You're what? You're Hamas? Yes, we're all Hamas, Massive anti-Israel <laughs> protests breaking out on and around Ivy League campuses right here in the United States. So where is America's youth learning this ideology? Well, let's go off the wall to find out. By the way, I think there are 22 Arab nations in the world, fully Islamic nations, where it's basically not legal to be a Christian or a, a Jew. There's one Jewish state, and all of these people protesting in cities like New York City think it doesn't have a right to exist. Yeah. This is New York City, to Pete's point. This is around Columbia University. These are protesters outside on the streets. There was a sit-in, a hunger strike uh, at Yale, and then a sit-in at Columbia. And you saw some of those horrific, not just sympathizing, but allegiances thrown in with Hamas. Absolutely. Uh, we've seen Hezbollah flags, uh, and we, we, we see things like Intifada Revolution. Well, Intifada is a violent uprising. That's what Octo October 7th was. These groups are openly stating wearing the colors of Islamists, we want the state of Israel gone. Replace it with something else. Well, in order to replace it, you got to get rid of and kill those people. That's what they're calling for. It's not just college students, by the way. It's recent grads. This is the workforce. This is, this is at Google. Uh, you can see in, in California where this week 28 employees were fired because they disrupted the workplace. They took over the <laughs> cloud president's office, sat in. They, they did learn a hard lesson, by the way. The free speech protects you from the government and in public places, not at your place of work. It was good to see that Google actually fired them. Uh, it, in most cases, companies allow this, you know, we see it in the White House, right? The letters from the junior staffers to the, to the senior officials saying, we want more support for Palestine. And this comes back to younger people, Will. Yep. It's a younger generation because of the information, the ideology, the indoctrination they're getting in their high schools and universities. So the numbers are changing in this country. Here's what the numbers look like. A lot on your screen here, but we'll point out. This is uh, where the sympathies of younger adults lie. And so you, you got it breaking down by age group here. And let's just, let's just this say- is Support Israel. Support Palestinians. So you can see 50 years old to 64, 39% uh, with Israel, 10% with, with the people of Palestine. But look at 18 to 29, 14% with Israel, 33% more sympathy for the people of Palestine. Big time upside down. Uh, this is the age group of people that are coming out of our high schools, which as we know are, are, have been taken over by leftists, but also major universities with very particular points of view, a lot of funding from outside groups, who make the cause of the Palestinians romantic and make the cause of the, the view of Israelis to be, um, you know, a colonizer state. That's yeah, how that's, they point the, that's, that's how the they key. portray it. A lot of this falls back on critical theory ideas. Like Correct. Like what the, 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 the idea is essentially it could be white and, and minorities. Israel is seen as the whiter state, but also, as you pointed out, the oppressor state. And this is the victimhood class. So a lot of this stuff is baked in and has been for decades on how you wind up also, Someplace like absolutely, this. a lot of those young people never opened up a Bible. There's a, there's a lot in there, a lot of stories in there, a lot of things to portray to that part of the world. So if you want to play the who was their first game, which they always love to talk about indigenous people, that might be a reference. But that's not in any of these classrooms, so they're not looking at it. You can see also how young people view whether or not discrimination against Jews has increased since October 7th. Um, and you can see that... The, it's lower, again, among younger people than older people I mean, in recognizing an increase in, in anti-Semitism. Because these people are looking at the signs and hearing the chants for what they are. From the river to the sea is meant to be intimidation. These protests are meant to be intimidation. Getting in the face of young people, whether they're J Jews or not, saying, if you're not with us, you're against us. And our cause is to get rid of the Jewish state. So the ADL put out a report card showing how different um, universities have graded out when it comes to college campus environment towards Jews. And you can see, look here, I mean, here's your Ivy Leagues right here, Harvard, MIT, F. F all the way. AD, ADL, by the way, a big time lefty organization at this point, but they're pointing out where, where it is Tufts, University of, Chicago. University of Chicago, all the way down to UVA, down in Virginia. It's across the country. We just, we just picked a few, very few that are doing it well or encouraging their students to, I don't know, look at both sides. And why does that happen? Because it's, yes, the kids are activists, Will, but the professors in a lot of places are driving the train. Yeah, I mean, here's some of the examples that have been reported over the last couple of months. Uh, controversial statements made on campuses, Joseph Mossad, uh, Columbia remarks praising the Hamas attack. Muhammad Aboud, or uh, Abdu, 
I mean, supportive statements about Hamas and Hezbollah. These are known terrorist organizations whose charters, the charters specifically call for the destruction of all Jews and the state of Israel. That's their flags, their, their causes, they're all clear about it. Catherine Frank alleged discriminatory comments against Israeli students. Saeed Hussein at Princeton. Yeah, I mean, these, endorsing again, you got to look at the funding behind a lot of where these professors are getting their uh, their seats, and there's different departments that come along with that. The money's coming from the UAE and other places with very different views, not as much funding in support of, say, the Jewish cause. Yeah, Penn as well, and Norton, allegations of anti, uh, sharing anti-Semitic content. So you have an ideological movement that's taken place over decades with critical theory. You have current professorships and, and lecturers feeding the ideology. And then you, it should be no surprise, you end up with a report card of Fs and students doing those types of things on campus. Mm -hmm. And what impact will that have on our policy in the future? Look at how much it's already rattled this White House because of a few voters in Michigan. Right. The whole dynamic changes if it stops being a bipartisan consensus in support of the state of Israel. All right. Dr. Sapphire, Nicole, over to you. Well, these academic institutions spreading anti-Semitism and hate all while their tuition continues to go up and up and up, making it unaffordable to many Americans. Right. Yeah. Yep. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.